It began with an onion. Here in Orlando at the Thousand Trails Park, they have a little farmer's market. Actually, it's just a little cart that the man sells produce out of. Well, we were just there and the man had these onions on his cart and they were white onions and they were they were pretty good size and yep. they had like big long tops called strawberry onions big onion uh sweet onion he said that they were called strawberry onions uh, he said that they were called that because they were planted uh right next to strawberry fields down in plant city florida uh to keep the bugs away from the strawberries so we looked at Plant City, Florida, and we found out that it's only about an hour away from here. And so we wanted to go down there and, and take a look. Which, by the way, Plant City uh, isn't named for plants in particular. It's named for uh, a guy named Plant who founded the city. Uh, yeah, it's only an hour away. We're going to take a little road trip. You want to go? So we decided we were going to go to Fred's in Plant City for lunch on this little adventure we're taking yep. in the line. It looks like about two hour wait, but when you walk in, if you're a, part, a small party, yeah, it's only going to be about 15 to 20 minutes, they said. Yeah, so they we'll tout, yeah, they tout all their stuff. It's a buffet and it's all um, farm's table and all home cooked. So we're going to see how good it is. Sounds good. Usually the food you get at a buffet is bland and flavorless. But this buffet food did not disappoint. The buffet was lined with pot after pot of steamy, colorful veggies and yummy meats. <laughs> My plate was full, but I still managed to pile on more food. This was the best buffet food we'd eaten. We even went back for seconds. This is like Wow. There are more vegetables on that buffet than you can shake a stick at. Our next stop was Parksdale Market. Google said Parksdale was a historic strawberry farm, so we hoped to see a lot of strawberry fields. There were none at this location, but they did have a wide assortment of fruits and veggies. After purchasing some wonderful produce, we decided to look for some strawberry fields. We knew that there must be strawberry fields around somewhere. So we googled strawberry fields near Plant City. The closest was Berry Hill Farms, so that's where we decided to go. We didn't realize that it was a U-Pick farm until we arrived. Even though we had just purchased strawberries, we decided to pick some more from Berry Hill. At the farm, we discovered that the strawberry onions were in fact planted at the perimeter of the strawberry fields. There's the onion that started it all. Choosing the ripest, freshest looking berries was a lot of fun. Pulling an onion or two was tempting, but we decided that might get us into a little trouble with the farmer.
After picking berries, we drove around some of the country roads. The landscape was dotted with berry fields, and planted on the perimeter of each of those fields were strawberry onions. We finished the day by visiting a local winery to sample some of the local brews. dry blueberry. Hopefully it's not sweet. Okay, doctor's order hippie bison it is. Peppa bison, not hippie bison. I said hippie. Peppa. Peppa bison. curious, rest assured, they had no such thing as strawberry onion wine.